What's up my single chats coming at you with an emergency video right now get your pitch and forex my sony ponies and xbox because there's a massive fight happening right now Seconds drop in DDT everybody's going off because we're hearing that many of the xbox games are gonna be coming to playstation oh, shit. The sony ponies are just uh, shaking around they're doing helicopters the xbox fanboys they're big mad right now We're gonna get this report from the playstation guy or I mean like uh, uh, a dreamcast guy guys uh, like the video subscribe and by the end, if you do not enjoy, you can always change it into a dislike Bruh. and roll it. But here's the extra part of it. A lot of people are upset because this is just the start. Many Xbox games are apparently currently being worked on for other systems. Bro, this kind of reminds me of the time when Phil said gaming for everyone. Maybe he is really, he, maybe he really meant that gaming for everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe. And people seem to be a bit mixed. A lot of PlayStation fans are obviously excited to see which games are going to come to the PlayStation 5. Nintendo Switch people are curious, like I own a Nintendo Switch and I've been saying this for years, but specifically, I would love something like the Master Chief Collection, having Halo games on my Switch, especially the older ones, which I'm a bigger fan of that would be great but somebody... yeah all of a sudden starfield is gonna be a masterpiece right if it comes on playstation that's what he's gonna say but now obviously uh starfield is not the best game Bruh. come on man like it's not it's it's an average it's kind of like a mid mid average game uh, it's not the best it's not the worst uh, he said this I totally agree, but I do understand the overarching issue that Xbox fans are having. It's a symbol that if this rumor is true, where does it end? Why even own an Xbox? Damn. Why not wait till the games go to rival consoles is yeah. what I'm guessing is the issue here. At some point, Xbox fans are going to have to believe Team Xbox when they say the Xbox console is nice to have, not a need to have, to participate in the ecosystem. For a long time, essentially, freaking Xbox has now been saying that the Xbox is optional. Playing Xbox games is just as good on your Steam Deck, it's just as good on your Super PC, it's just as good as cloud gaming on your phone. Now, I don't completely agree with it, but that's what Xbox themselves has- Yo, I need my Xbox uh, homies right now immediately, bro. It, like, crack your knuckles, okay? Forget about the loops today, we're gonna go in raw, okay? We're gonna Bruh. go in raw. Get your fat doobies. No, forget. For, stop rolling your fat doobies right now. I need you immediately. Throw your keyboards away. Pick your controllers up. And let's bro. get into the rumble, bro. Let's get It's time to rumble, my brothers. I want to know your thoughts on it. Now, on, on a real though, like, let's be real. It kind of makes sense, actually. Yeah, right? Like, let's be <laughs> Because here's the thing. Uh... I, I do believe uh, that the fact that you don't need to have an Xbox. Uh, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Listen, listen. If you have a good PC, you don't need to have a uh, an Xbox because you can get Game Pass on PC. You can get all the exclusives on PC, right? Same can be said for PlayStation, but it's just that, yeah, you're going to get the PlayStation exclusives on PC, but that's probably like a year later, two years later. Maybe if this rumor is true, because it's only a rumor right now. If this rumor is true, maybe in the future, maybe in the future, they're gonna do a thing where Xbox games like our uh, exclusive games are gonna come to PlayStation Nintendo a year or two years later and in that case I, I think they're gonna make a lot more money just like how PlayStation is doing this is their strategy I know PlayStation fanboys always get made uh, how dare you guys put a, a, a spider-man on PC -E -E. guys it's just a game at the end of the day same goes for the Xbox fanboys same goes for the PlayStation fanboys what are we doing here it's just gaming bro it's it ain't that deep it ain't that serious but i also do believe in this guys for this one sit down kiss your loved ones goodbye another uh, argument here okay oh, shit. yeah we better talk about this joint right now if you're a console peasant like me i'm a console peasant i love my i love me my console okay i got a good i got a good pc blessed to have a rtx 3090 Bruh. but i'd still like to play on console Bruh. yeah uh go, yeah diss me in the comments go angry just uh drop insults at me i totally i i i i'm i'll gladly take it okay because who has rtx 3090 and doesn't game on PC, just I cannot compute it. I have it to render videos, Bruh. to do YouTube, simple as that. I I'm a console boy at heart, okay? 
And I can uh, believe, uh, based on the data, based on the numbers, a lot of you probably are console lovers like myself. A lot of you love to game on consoles because, number one, it's affordable. Number two, it's more efficient. It's uh, just much more easy. Just plug and play. Pick your controller, plug and play. Easy, simple as that. Where are where you gotta have like RTX this? Uh, should I get this CPU? Should I get that GPU? DDR4 RAM? DDR5 RAM? <laughs> H HDD or SSD, you know, it gets a little bit complicated, right? And obviously you gotta be spending like thousands of thousands of dollars uh, in order to get a good PC that can run uh, everything at max 4K RTX uh, fully looped out. You need a NASA computer. I know some of you PC masters would say, you do not need a NASA. I'm, I'm just exaggerating. I'm just joking around. Uh, you, you, that's how an average console fan looks at it. Just that's the truth of it, okay? So if we ever see this possibility where Xbox exclusives comes to PlayStation, then that would completely defeat the purpose of having Xbox. Because right now, yeah, you can make the argument if you have PC, don't get Xbox, but most people just love consoles, man. They want to get consoles. So if they do that, then dog, it's just going to be PlayStation. You get PlayStation and you get you get to play Xbox games on it, then bro, that's th this is going to be devastating for the Xbox fanboys. They're going to be coping hard with this one. But objectively speaking, forget PlayStation fanboys, Xbox fanboys. The I think this is gonna be a good thing for for Microsoft, I guess, because uh, you know they wouldn't have to worry about making the new hardware. I think they're still gonna, but let's say they're not, and they're gonna fully go in with it in the future, like five years, ten years, twenty years from now, right? They wouldn't have to worry about breaking even because when you make a console, whether that be PlayStation or Xbox, you trust me, you they, they need to put a console together, and they don't make most of their money back from selling PlayStation and Xbox. They make majority of their money by selling exclusives, games digitally, uh, subscriptions, Game Pass, Xbox Gold, PlayStation Plus, that's where the money's at. The money's not in the hardware sales. Uh, so I, I think this might be smart in terms of uh, their financials, but uh, it's a rumor at the end of the day. It's been claiming. Now, here's the big part of it that everybody is kind of ripping their hair out for specifically. Many Xbox games are in the process of being ported to the PlayStation 5. Now, oh I found this nah. on Icon Era. A lot of people are discussing it. Uh, a lot of people are saying Xbox games are trash, they're soulless garbage, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. But Yo. specifically, this is Yo, a. Yo, man, PlayStation, come on. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I love the no, sauce, man. I love the sauce. I love it when the homies get angry. I love it when people in Sony ponies and Xbox go in, though. Another argument here is this, right? Do you think, if this is to be believed, if this is real, do you think Phil Spencer really going in this uh, ga gaming for everyone, ga or more like gaming for everyone, do you think he's really going in, the, in this direction because he want to be in the good graces of Sony and PlayStation and uh, the next CEO because Jim Ryan, he's going to peace out soon? You did not know? Yeah, he's gonna peace out, bro. Oh, he's quitting PlayStation, dog. Do you think, like, he's doing it so in the future, these suckers can get <laughs> Spider-Man 3? <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, Wolverine and uh, God of War is, uh, and all the, 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 the PlayStation Sony Ponies exclusives on the Xbox, uh, the Xbox. Do you think that's the reason or, or what? Or do you think they just uh, are not able to make enough money on Xbox so therefore they, they're just trying to broaden their horizons? A leaker that's talked both, a lot but... about different Xbox details and has been mostly correct. But now this is an Xbox leaker by the name Xbox. of Sneakers. He's very renowned for having some pretty accurate details, but uh -huh. for some reason they decided to block his name out and be extra mysterious. But essentially, he's talking about the fact that they are bringing Xbox games to PlayStation and Nintendo. The talks are already happening. Now, the way that's crazy about this is that it's not just Hi-Fi Rush. It is some bigger stuff, including apparently Starfield. Starfield is not the only yeah! Xbox. Now what? Starfield is gonna turn out to be the best game on planet Earth right now, bruh. They're gonna say Starfield is the best game ever, bruh. Nah, man, no matter if it comes on PlayStation, dog, it's, <laughs> it's not the best game, dog. It's a mid game, bro. <laughs> It's an alright game. It's neither bad, neither good, right? Like, it's an alright. It's an average game, and that's perfectly fine, guys. It's perfectly fine. It's not the best. It's not the worst, okay? That's where I'm putting it. I, I know people are gonna get mad, but guys, I'm not saying it's trash. I'm, and I'm also not saying it's the greatest game known to mankind, because it's neither. I know seconds are gonna be like, it's the greatest game, it's the greatest game. Or they're gonna say, it's trash, bro, it's trash. Nah, bro, there are many other games that have been trash. Uh, for example, the day before... 
this game before? The abandoned game that never came true, right? Whatever happened to abandoned though? Anybody, any thoughts? Xbox Game thoughts? Studios title that's being ported to competing platforms to be released this year. There are more. Oh my gosh. It, I, I guess this is wild to me because I, I get it, but these are system sellers. I don't even like Starfield. I think Starfield is a pretty mediocre game at best. But if you're putting that on a system exclusively, if it's only on Xbox and that's the sequel to Skyrim, it's the next Bethesda game, people have bought Xboxes. I know somebody personally, my buddy Jeff, bought an Xbox just for Starfield. If that game was on a PlayStation 5, would he have bought a PlayStation 5? That's a great question. Now, people are asking why. Wouldn't this hurt the Xbox brand to give up your exclusives? Even if I, I think realistically, it's not going to hurt them. I think this is this is going to definitely spawn in like ru uh, more rumors. Sega's like going to get mad. PlayStation fanboys are going to go in ganging. Uh, Xbox fanboys, they're going to be coping. They're going to get defensive. Uh, and it's going to start the console wars. That doesn't mean anything in the real world. Let's be real. It's just for banter, just for entertainment, right? But I think if they really do this, uh, and, and first of all, Sony would have to accept. I don't think Sony would be like, yeah, bro, come here, bro. Bring your Xbox Game Pass over, bro. Sell it on your console, bro. It has to be on PlayStation End as well. They would have to probably accept it. And if something like this actually goes through, I think, if anything, Xbox and Microsoft, they're going to make a lot more money. They wouldn't have to worry about producing as many xbox i still would like to believe they're still gonna make xbox but if they do this then that's gonna defeat the entire purpose of getting a playstation or i should say xbox Bruh. everybody's gonna get playstation there will still be some people that would keep on getting xbox because they're used to the system the interface some of the features like a uh, quick resume and what else uh what uh and, and stuff like that that xbox has and playstation doesn't people are still gonna buy xbox if they're used to it some uh majority will cross over and maybe in the future if they get rid of it uh, rid of xbox completely like they are planning to oh, because uh, oh, there were some plans their plans that got leaked out uh during the uh there was a leak that happened uh, with the FTC and when they were fighting to acquire Activision. In that, they did say that if Game Pass does not succeed, the, uh, Microsoft might leave the gaming business by 2027. Oh, shit. And that's not a rumor. This is what Phil said. This is what Phil said uh, to FTC. In, I believe in the court or in the in the documents that were presented in court. He data said that. Does that mean that he's gonna stick to his word? That's a different situation, okay? It was he bluffing? Can be though. Maybe he was bluffing in line to get the Xbox uh, Activision deal go uh, to go through, right? Maybe that's true, but he actually said that. And now that we're getting this rumor, imagine they do a thing like this where they get rid of Xbox uh, as a hardware completely. And they just keep fo uh, keep focusing on the Game Pass, Game Pass, Game Pass, and, and games, 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 buy everybody and games, 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 games. I think they might make a lot more money than than PlayStation. Microsoft already is a juggernaut. Uh, so yeah, thoughts, guys. If you think hey, keep on. exclusives aren't that important, I do think that they are an essential tipping point when people are choosing a console. Yeah, Look at what PlayStation true. offers. I mean, Uncharted, Killzone, freaking Horizon, obviously. Uh, Killzone's kind of dead, but. Games like Twisted Metal back in the day sold a lot of freaking PlayStations. The exclusivity of Final Fantasy on the PlayStation 5. Uh, I mean, these games sell systems. Even if you don't particularly like one or two or you're not a big fan of Spider-Man, those games objectively sell they, they do sell consoles and then you know once you have sold your console sick is gonna buy like the playstation plus and the, the memberships and they're gonna make money that way right but guys recently a massive cheater got caught cheating with his pants down and he made thousands and thousands of dollars this is an absolute pathetic video click on this video on the screen check it out on the left though i got you uh, all with the secret video check out both of these videos and i'll see you right there